This is the Celestia shell offering a next level desktop experience for Linux users. Celestia is based on QuickShell and Hyperland Window Manager. In today's video, I will show you how to set up Arch Linux with Celestia shell. And thanks to the GitHub developer, the installation process is fully automated. Now let's start by installing Celestia shell along with Hyperland.files on Arch Linux. Now first, make sure you have a fresh installation copy of Arch Linux with minimal desktop on your PC or laptop using the Arch install script. In my case, I have already installed the Arch Linux with minimal desktop alongside Windows 11 on the same drive, but this is a dual boot setup. I have made a separate video on how to install Arch Linux, so I will leave a link to that video in the description. Now, let me go ahead and log into Arch using my credentials. Since I have installed a fresh copy of Arch Linux, I need to connect to the internet using the Wi Fi. I'm gonna use the nmcli command to connect to my Wi Fi network. Then I will run ping command to check the connection, and you can see that I'm receiving the packets. The first thing to do after installing Arch Linux is to update your system. Just go ahead and type this command to update your system. Now let's go ahead and increase the console font size. Type this command to install Terminus font package. Once it's installed, run this command to increase the console font size. It's recommended to install some essential dependencies or packages using pacman. Now run this command to install git, wget, curl, and other required packages. Now type this command to install fish command. Now it's time to set up Celestia shell. You can visit the official website using this link to learn more about this setup. Next, type this command to clone the GitHub repository. Now this will download the fish script from the specified location. Once the repository is cloned, run the script by entering this command. Now sit back and be patient while the script is running in the background. You may be asked for your password a couple of times during the installation. Next, run this command to install some essential GUI applications. Now type this command to install Bluetooth and SDDM packages. 
You can also use other login managers like Grite to launch your Hyperlens session. Once the installation is complete, enable the Bluetooth and SDDM services by running this command. And finally, start the SDDM service with this command. Congratulations, the login manager is now working properly. After running the script, it's recommended to reboot your system to apply all settings. Now you will see the SDDM login manager. Then make sure to select the hyperlink from the session menu. Then enter your password and press enter to log in into Celestia shell environment. Upon successful login, you might notice that the desktop wallpaper is missing. Let's fix that issue. If you click on set it now, it will prompt you to select and apply a wallpaper. Now if I press the super key, it opens the launcher. By typing right angle bracket, I can switch to command mode and search for wallpaper. Now as you can see, no wallpapers are installed. So let's go ahead and add some wallpapers to this location. Now pressing super plus T will open the terminal. Now let's increase the font size in the food terminal. In your home directory, there's a hidden folder called config where all your Celestia configuration files are stored. Now first, navigate to the config directory using this command. Then open the foot configuration file and locate the font size setting. Then change the value to 20. Save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus X. Then press Y and enter. Then close terminal by pressing super plus Q and reopen by pressing super plus T. You should now see the increased font size. Now it's time to fix the wallpaper issue. The first, we create a directory named pictures inside your home folder. Then inside the pictures directory, create another folder called wallpapers. Then navigate into wallpapers folder. Now this is where you will store all your wallpapers. Next, let's go ahead and clone a collection of high quality wallpapers into this location by running this command. Once it's done, press the super key to open the launcher, then type right angle to access the command mode, select the wallpaper option, and choose the one you want to apply. Now hovering your mouse cursor over the top middle of the screen will bring up the control center. It consists of three sections, Dashboard, Media, and Performance. The Dashboard section displays the time, date, weather, system information, and media controls. The second section, Media, allows you to control audio playback directly from the panel. The final section, Performance, shows real-time CPU, GPU, and memory usage. It also displays the temperature of both CPU and GPU, which is pretty cool. Now pressing the spacebar opens the Celestia app launcher, where you can view all installed applications. This launcher also supports commands. 
By pressing the right angle bracket, you can access a list of available commands. Using this feature, you can easily switch between light and dark modes, change wallpapers using the picker menu and much more. The schemes option allows you to change the current color scheme of the shell. Well, the variant lets you modify the scheme's variant. Celestia features a single left side panel, similar to Vbar with several useful applets. The workspace switcher makes it very easy to move between different workspaces. In the middle of the panel, there's a shortcut for floating app windows. To float an application, highlight on the workspace, then hover on it, click the arrow icon and select float to pin the window. At the bottom left, you will find system controls like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and battery status. Now simply hovering over them reveals a smooth animation for a quick glance. Now by tapping the power icon opens additional options like reboot, shutdown and logout. You can even control sound and brightness using these beautiful and intuitive sliders. Now let's talk about the workspaces. On the left, you will see the workspace feature. Using this, you can simply switch between the workspaces. You can also use a keyboard shortcut by pressing super plus a number from 0 to 9 to seamlessly switch between different workspaces. To edit the hyperlink configuration files, open the terminal by pressing super plus T. Then navigate to the default keybinding configuration file. Now let's start by uncommenting some of the default keybindings. For example, since I don't have the GitHub desktop application installed, now let's comment this shortcut by adding hashtag at the beginning of the line. Next, I will modify a few shortcuts. The default shortcut super plus w is set to launch the Zen browser, which I haven't installed. So let's go ahead and replace this with Firefox. Now similarly, I will change Tunar File Manager to Dolphin. You can also add custom key bindings for any application you want. Now in this example, we are going to add a shortcut to open the Chrome web browser. We will assign Super plus G as the key binding. Once you have added the new key binding, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O. Now pressing Super plus G will instantly launch the Chrome web browser. Overall, Arch Linux with Celestia takes your Hyperland desktop experience to the next level. But thanks to its stunningly customized quick shell and elegant widgets. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check out the GitHub page for more insights into Celestia shell configuration. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.